Over on Channel 4 in just a moment, three orphan sisters defend their fortune in their matinee movie, The Gay Sisters. Here on TVS, we have the latest news from ITN and also the TVS newsroom. Now yours to own on video, the smash hit Three Men and a Little Lady. The movie everyone loved is now the video everyone can own. Take Three Men and a Little Lady home for just $12.99. quite hits the mark. On TVS, a new look to this Saturday evening's entertainment. We're back where the sunshine never stops at 5.30 in Baywatch the Movie, California's Sun, Sea and Surf set. The city set's next in It'll Be Right on the Night at 7.15. Watch the baby. <laughs> so never work with animals or children. Thrills and spills galore follow at 8.15 as the James Bond film season continues with a view to a kill. Roger Moore in the hot seat, in the hottest of situations. But why get all steamed up when you can drive over to Porky's at 11 for late night film fun and a cooling dip? The new look for this Saturday evening's entertainment here on TVS. This afternoon, though, and in ten minutes, Ian St. John and Jimmy Greaves continue their analysis of the new football season. And that's after the national, international and local news. The news from ITM. Ukrainian president warns against Russian domination of a new Soviet government. Leonid Kravchuk said the strength of Boris Yeltsin's Russian Federation was threatening to undermine moves to establish independent republics. His comments follow Thursday's agreement between Russia and the Ukraine to form an economic and military alliance. Two days ago, Russia and the Ukraine signed an agreement which seemed to end fears of Russian expansionism. But now Mr. Kravchuk has again raised the specter of what he calls superpower chauvinism, causing terrible political and economic conflicts. It's the image of Boris Yeltsin as the new Russian Tsar that generates such alarm, the belief that he'll use the power he's wrested from Mr. Gorbachev to dominate the smaller republics. But Russian radicals say that's nonsense. The people who are pushing that line are the autocratic uh, elites in those republics where revolution has not yet occurred. The Communist Party newspaper Pravda, banned by Mr. Yeltsin for supporting the coup, was back on the streets today, the traditional picture of Lenin missing from its masthead. The papers appealing for money and promising a new image. If there's another coup, we hope we'll be shut down, said an editorial. Former Foreign Minister Alexander Besmertnik was quoted today as saying the post-coup investigation is like a Stalinist purge. It was a theme echoed in the Supreme Soviet, where more MPs claimed their parliamentary privileges were being ignored in the hunt for anyone implicated in the coup. Tim Ewart, ITN, Moscow. The athletics Championships in Tokyo, Britain's women's 4x400 metres relay team smashed the national record to qualify for tomorrow's final. The British men's 100 metres and 400 metre squads also qualified. But Tom Hanlon found the pace and humidity too much in the steeplechase final. The 24-year-old from Edinburgh, tipped as an outside bet for a medal, could only finish 11th. And those are the lunchtime headlines. I'm back with more news from ITN at 5 o'clock. Have a good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon on yet another lovely day for most of us. Although there's a threat, but it is just a threat, of thundery showers for the south later on. But for the moment, there's a lot of lovely sunshine around for central parts, southern parts as well. A great day for getting out and about, but a slight hiccup for the very far northeast. And that's because of cloud tending to drift in off the North Sea, and there could be bits and pieces of mist floating about. Now, later on, we do expect that sunshine to become a touch more watered down because of high cloud drifting up from the continent. In fact, there have already been thundery showers over France, and these later on will get into the Channel Isles as well as Cornwall. 
Well, as for our temperatures, very hot and sticky down south, a high of 27, if not 28 degrees, tending to cool off where there's any cloud hanging about. That's all from me for the time being. I leave you with tomorrow's sunset times and, of course, the weather summary. Good afternoon. Police frogmen are dragging a lake today in their search for a missing Surrey man. They fear that Andrew Elphick may have been kidnapped or murdered by drug dealers. Andrew vanished eight days ago from his home in the village of Normandy near Aldershot. He withdrew £5,000 from his bank account and is believed to have been carrying the money as he left the house. Later, his Vauxhall Nova GTE was found abandoned. Inside it were his personal organiser, credit cards and other property. He is a lad who is trying to maintain an image. He is um, a lad that doesn't earn a great deal and um, we feel that there is a possibility that he's trying to impress somebody or improve his lifestyle with this money. Yeah, obviously we fear for his safety. Um, and it's, you know, he would never just run off and disappear. His family, his, you know, his, his dad, he's quite close to his dad, never do that to his family or his friends. Andrew's friends have taken over his cottage as the headquarters to organise the search. Detectives say he was known to have financial problems. Today, frogmen are dragging a lake at, lake at Slough near where his car was found. A 25-year-old man is appearing in court today charged with arson with intent to endanger life. It follows a fire at a block of flats yesterday. Another man has been released on police bail. Three children and two adults were taken to hospitals suffering from the effects of smoke. The blaze swept through the building in Thurso Close at Tilehurst. One flat was completely destroyed and another 11 smoke damaged. More than 60 workers have been made redundant at the Havant firm of Colt International and another 20 are to retire early. The firm, which makes heating and ventilating equipment, employs 340 people at Havant. A spokesman said the company had lost up to £5 million in export business due to the recession. Customers had also changed their buying habits. Two teenagers are raising money for charity by swimming round Hailing Island. 17-year-old Ian Williams made sure he was well covered in grease before the attempt. He and 18-year-old Christopher Pratt found the water cold but soon got used to it. The pair are collecting money for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Cricket and Hampshire face a target of 370 for victory against Somerset at Southampton. They've made a solid start with Paul Terry and Tony Middleton taking the score to 50 without loss. And there'll be more sporting action, including action from the Football League and our new extended news bulletin at 5 past 5 this evening. Bye-bye. Now, the weather forecast for the south. This afternoon, fine, hot and sunny with highs of 28 degrees. This evening and tonight will cloud over with the risk of thundery showers and coastal fog. Temperatures down to 13 Celsius. In a moment, the best action and the best players making the football headlines. Stay with us. My husband says I drink too much coffee. He thinks I should cut down on caffeine. Relax, darling. Lighten up. So I started drinking Café Hog. The only thing it hasn't got is caffeine. Must go, darling! And you know, I do notice the difference. Bye. Like just now, he's off again to the garden centre. Do I fret and fuss? I do not. I just go right back to snipping and pruning. I'm totally relaxed. Café Hog. When coffee tastes this good, who needs caffeine? Later this afternoon at 2.50, our film stars Oliver Reed as POW Hannibal Brooks. Fearing that Lucy the Elephant's life is in danger, he embarks on a life-saving trek across the Alps. That's later, but now it's over to Saint and Greasy. <laughs> 